Welcome back to Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster, Mission 8, Robotics Facility. I tracked the smuggler ship to a remote planet called Antivi. This frigid planet is lifeless except for an Imperial construction facility built beneath its icy surface. Place the three sequencer charges in the exchange couplings located in the solution for the Frick. This should disable the facility. Keep a careful eye out wherever you go. There are highly volatile chemicals used in this facility. I suggest you find a breathing mask like those used by the Imperials <coughs> to protect themselves. Also, I wouldn't have put it past Mach to have stationed dark troopers in this facility. Battling a few dark troopers should warm you up after your walk through the snow. Alright. So, very first secret in this mission is actually right here at the beginning. Off that little ledge right next to you where you start, there's an extra life down there. This mission is unique because this is the one that introduces sliding on ice mechanics would be completely obnoxious, especially during the escape, except we're going to go get an item that's going to completely invalidate that mechanic. So, go off to the right. Follow it around. And the item you need is not slide on ice anymore. right there. A pair of ice cleats. Unfortunately, the ice cleats are on ice right on the edge of a canyon that will kill the shit out of you if you fall in it. So, you know, just inch up there very, very carefully. There we go. And we don't slide on ice anymore. Excellent. Up over that. Keep following it around. Shoot that guy in the face. Shoot that guy in the face too. Here's the... We're going to ignore him for the moment. Next next two secrets are down here. Gotta crouch through this. There's one of them. Big pile of shields and ammo and detonators. And here's the other one. Power cells, detonators, shields. And now we can continue. Come up here, through this little cubby right there, and up this dark-ass narrow ice path. Float down the river, and you come out right here. There is... Okay, this this is the part of this mission that confuses me. Technically, you're supposed to take that key, fall down there, run all the way around it, and open the door. Surrender. Right there to get onto the belt. But, I don't know why they even, I don't know why they even put a key there, because, with the, um, hang on, let me get back up there. Ah. 
got to figure out how to get back up to that spot. There it is. Now we're back in the starting spot again. That's where the uh, starting area is. So let's run back over there. So that ledge that I fell down has the blue key on it. You're supposed to take the key and then run around and open that door that I pointed out. But as you're going to see in a second, the way they designed it, you really don't need to do any of that shit at all. Why? Well... <laughs> because you can totally just jump onto the belt from the ledge and bypass the whole key shit completely. But, do it however you want. Follow the belt around. There'll be a few people that try to shoot you on the sides, but not me. You're in time. That room is a secret. It's kind of annoying to get into because you're moving and it has to be a crouch jump. But shields and ammo and secret percentage if you want it. Keep on following. Oh. Round and round. That switch opens that door up. There's detonators up there. You want them? Keep on down the belt. Riding the belts here. Yeah, there's a crusher there. I forgot about that. Don't don't get caught in that. Now, that yellow goop down there will hurt you. It's very minor, but it will. So just... Ride that back up there. There's another crusher right there. I about got stuck under that one too. Fall down. Jump over. Miss the jump. Try again. There he is. Stop him. Okay. Weapon supercharged there. That opens that door. Ah, oh, it was a shield supercharge, not a. There's another, uh, another crouch jump window. Watch me turn on my fucking goggles on by accident, trying to crouch jump into this bullshit. Here we go. You don't have to crouch jump to get out of here. If you stand on this little hologram thing, you can just walk out of the window. Now. This part is a little tricky because you need to jump from the corner of this belt into that room <coughs> through the window. As the red key right there. A whole bunch of stuff in there. Fusion cutter, mortar rifle, and imperial repeater in case you missed any of them. Definitely hit that switch. And I'll explain to you what that did when we get to the point where it mattered. Keep going. Keep going. It's a fairly straightforward path, honestly. That opened that panel. Headlamp. That switch to stop that. That one opened both of 
these up. Now, here's a little problem. That doesn't look like it's very far of a fall, but it's farther than it looks because you're going to go through that all the way down. There is a revive right at the bottom. If you miss it, you're probably going to die, especially if your health is low. But we've got nine lives, so it's okay even if we perish. So here we go. See, I missed it. We barely didn't die, but I still missed the... the uh, missed hit landing on the revive by a hair, but it's okay. So, another gas mask in case you missed the first one. Those gas masks are down here because <coughs> that switch I told you I would explain later turned on that thing. That fan removed all the poisonous ass gas that would have been down here if we hadn't pressed that switch. So, there's the first see, the charge point set. First charge point. Charge two set. Second charge point. And there's the third sequencer charge. Uh, I would get a big gun out before you put that third charge up because a second phase two dark trooper is about to pop out of the wall as soon as you open that up. And it'll come from whichever section you put the third charge in. So it doesn't have to be this one. If you do the one I did first last, it'll come out of the wall up there, not back here. But... I mean, you could... This is the only place you're ever going to see me use mines, probably. I wish we could throw those things over there like frisbees instead of just setting them down, but All charges. either way, there you go. Good job. Let's blow this ice cube. Woman after my own heart. And I put the mines in the wrong place. Scratch one phase two dark trooper. Weapon supercharged, there's a battery. We're out of shields now, but shouldn't matter too much. Alright. Gotta remember where the uh, exit there it is. Okay. So, you now I gotta remember how to get out of here, because these tunnels back to the exit are a little bit of a maze. Now we get to climb up this treacherous ass little narrow fucking ice stairway. If if you didn't have the ice cleats doing this, I imagine many, many lives would be lost here. But since we're not sliding anymore, it's relatively effortless. After that, just gotta work your way back to where you started. I went the wrong direction again. Yep. That way. And there she is. All 
right. Alright, that was mission 8, the robotics facility. We are now over halfway through this game. There are 14 missions. We just finished the 8th one. So thank you for watching that, and we'll see you in mission 9, Narshada.